Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni, and Cass is here with me today. <laughs> and we're going to be going over the three parts of the transverse abdominis muscle. You can almost think of it as three different muscles. Now, this work that I'm going to be showing you is from my mentor, Diane Lee. And I'm going to be using, in a lot of these sequences, some touch cues. And a lot of you may not be comfortable with doing that with your clients, but I just want you to understand the mechanics of this, which, which starts with some touch cues. But then after you see this, then you can start to really look out in your own clients when they start to do movements or when they're breathing, that these three parts of the transverse abdominis are staying intact when they go into movement. So we're keeping an eye out for, for bulges in the area. So Cass is going to bring her shirt up so we can see her rib cage and around the belly button. Great. So the three parts of our transverse abdominis, I'm sorry if my hands are cold, are up here at the infrasternal angle. This is our upper transverse. And at the upper transverse, this is going to be muscular. So when you ask someone for a transverse contraction at this area, you're going to feel a little bit of broadening of the muscles into your thumbs. And then our next section is at the belly button. So right across from the belly button and over, lateral to the, the rectus abdominis muscles. And here, it's probably going to be fascial. It's probably going to be uh, aponeurotic tissue. But for some people, it, it, it could be muscular. So it can go anywhere from feeling a broadening into your thumbs to the tissue moving down in a way, which is more of a fascial feeling under your fingers. And then at the ASISs, and I think in Pilates we're all pretty used to this cue, our fingertip abdominals. So right medial of our ASIS bones, this is going to be aponeurosis. And so here when we ask for a transverse abdominus cue, we're going to feel the tissue move in and across. Now to get to these with the touch cue, and this takes practice, you have to go through the external obliques, feel the tension, and then you go a little bit deeper into the internal obliques, and then you go a bit deeper and you hit the transverse abdominis. And then from here, you want to pull your thumbs apart. So you create tension in that area, right? You're stretching the linea alba, but you're also stretching the, um, the rectus sheaths. And then from here, I'm going to ask Cass to exhale, and I want to feel the tissue under my thumbs move in and across. But because this is musculature, yeah, I feel a little bit of broadening into my thumbs. So we're going to stay with this area, but it's the same sequencing down the line. Let's say that Cass, which she's not, but let's say that she's a little bit more internally oblique dominant. So that would mean, and you can kind of play this part, that she has more of a splaying of her rib cage. Yes. So this would probably mean we need to do a lot of work in the upper abdominals. So she might not get the cue right away here in the transverse abdominis because of this internal oblique dominant situation and the splaying of the rib cage. So I'm going to do the same thing, go external, internal, transverse, pull my thumbs apart. I'm going to keep that pull apart. And then on the exhale, I want her to imagine that she could bring my thumbs together towards the midline with her exhale. Good. And that maybe she adds a little X cross, right rib cage to left hip, left rib cage to right hip, to start to integrate the upper abdominals. Good. Now, a lot of you might say, but the tissue is moving across and back. That has a lateral pull with the transverse abdominis. So why are you cueing thumbs together? Yes. 
Biomechanically, that's right. The transverse abdominis wraps around laterally. It pulls laterally. But the feeling to the client, the feeling, their, their intuition, their sense is that their things are hugging towards the midline. So if someone is having trouble at either of these points, keep pulling the tissue apart, but then ask them to try to bring your thumbs towards the midline, and that will probably, in time, give them a better transverse abdominis activation. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.